Welcome back Kingdom Campers. Today we're going to go over more about boondocking. So when you boondock, essentially you're going to be completely disconnected from any kind of hookups, no water, no power, um, cable, anything like that. You're going to be out in the wilderness. So one thing that you need to do is get water into your rig or have a way to use water while you're camping. So the solution that I've found is uh, this here. I'll, let me show you. So it's a battery powered pump. It's a submersible pump. You put it down into a seven gallon water cube. So I have several of them. I have a couple over there. I actually have six total right now. There's my, there's my daughter. There's one of my sons. So I have six total. So you see I have three more there. So what you do is you put the submersible pump in the cube and then put it into your fresh water connection. Um, looks backwards on the video apparently. But you have your city water connection where if you are on hookups, you would directly connect from the water source into here by a hose and a filter and reducers if needed. And then you have your freshwater connection, which goes into your freshwater tank. Uh, my tank here is a 42 gallon tank. So um, typically I can use, you know, five or six gallon of the uh, cubes and be fine. Um, just I tend to check the levels on the internal um, my inter <laughs> my kids are mooing in the background on my internal control panel. So uh, on this one, it's just, like I said, two D batteries and it's battery powered with the switch. So now the water is going into, into the connection there. So it's a, uh, it's not the most powerful of pumps, but it does well enough. Uh, typically with a seven, seven gallon cube, I can get it to, uh, it'll take about a minute and a half or so to fill seven gallons. So um, when I'm doing that though, I can go around, do other things, get chairs out, set up stuff for the kids. So um, boondocking will take a little bit more uh, preparations, uh, a little bit more advanced um, organization. And um, there is more hazards from it. Um, might be a little hard to see, but I actually cracked my, uh, black and gray tank piping last night. So, oh, there's water coming out. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys caught that or not, but so uh, yeah, my tank connections broke. Um, so you can see a little bit of a dripping there, the black tank and the gray tank. <laughs> that was my fault. I. Uh, I uh, hit a dip a little bit too hard and uh, didn't realize how, how deep it was. But um, along with the added um, preparations and uh, things like that for boondocking, you can see behind me uh, how beautiful of a view you tend to get, or you can get, depending on where you go. Um, so when you boondock, you can go to uh, different places. So you have natural forest lands, BLM. We happen to be on state, uh, state trust land in Arizona. With state trust land in Arizona, you are required to buy a permit for camping also. It's $20 for a family, so it's not a big deal and you can go camping. And then with us, we end up with a view like that there. So that's the San Francisco Peaks of Flagstaff. And that's our uh, the view we have for the week. I'll be out here working with my job. Um, so yeah, there's uh, more that goes into boondocking and we can discuss a little bit more do other videos um just wanted to show you kind of the the water aspect of it um you will need water um, unless you're going to dry camp completely uh it's hard for us to do that typically with three kids um and then we, with me working every day i gotta i like to take my showers and things like that after work um, i play in a lot of i work in a lot of dirt um grime um paint chemicals things like that so i like to wash off at the end of the day so anyways um Thanks, for, thanks, guys, for hanging out, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks. See ya.